Hello, you guys. We're sorry we haven't been making videos for a long time, but we're back with something important this week. In 1976, American physicist Gerard O'Neill suggested that other planets might not be the best place for humans to live away from Earth and proposed stations that will later be called O'Neill colonies. They take the form of spinning cylinders in space, 5 miles in diameter, that can replicate gravity, orbit the Earth and give people and plants a place to live. Building on that, Jeff Bezos recently showed a concept of an orbital space colony that he's planning to build with the help of his company Blue Origin. According to Mr. Bezos, the colonies will be able to put up to a trillion people into space. The colonies are going to have high-speed transport, and architecture will remind colonists of home. There might be agricultural areas, cities, national parks. They don't even have to have the same gravity. Bezos says they can even do a recreational area with zero G, where you can go flying with your own wings. Way cooler than roller skating, right? We'll also be able to pick historical cities and try to replicate them, or build more futuristic ones with new kinds of architecture. The climate in those colonies will be close to Maui on its best day. People can forget all about rain, earthquakes, and natural disasters. Bezos adds, what does architecture look like when it no longer has to serve its primary purpose of shelter? We'll find out. These are so beautiful. People are going to want to live here, and they can be close to Earth and go back. One of his ideas is to move heavy industry to space and bring Earth back to its natural state. Not the one with little to no oxygen, all the volcanic activity and getting hit by asteroids, of course. More like the one when we haven't screwed everything up so badly, it's hard to look future generations in the eye. Earth is the best planet. We have to protect it. It's essential, it's our job. We're now big enough to hurt this planet, so we have to start using the resources of space. Jeff first started thinking about developing technologies needed for these colonies back in the 80s as a Princeton student. He now owns Amazon and is at the top of the richest people list with $112 billion, according to Forbes. Head of Amazon said that even though he's planning on building these colonies, it might be hard to do that in the near future. The technology just isn't there yet. Which means O'Neill colonies would have to be constructed by future generations. But the billionaire pledged to start working on infrastructure now, starting with the Blue Moon Lander. The event where Jeff announced his plans to build orbital space colonies was where he unveiled the enormous Blue Moon Lunar Lander that is designed to deliver various payloads to the Moon's surface, up to 3.6 metric tons. That could include small rovers, supplies, tools or equipment. The company has been working on Blue Moon for the last three years. The next step is creating a more powerful version that could drop off a crude ascent module. This version will be able to carry 6.5 metric tons. Bezos hopes Blue Origin will be able to return Americans to the Moon by 2024. The spacecraft is designed to carry tanks of liquid hydrogen and oxygen because they combust together very efficiently, which means you can make fuel right there on the Moon. Vehicles' tall legs are designed in a way so that Blue Moon can avoid obstacles like rocks and boulders. Bezos also showed a new engine, BE-7, that was designed specifically to power Blue Moon landers. Although the lander was just a model, the engine was pretty real. Its first test might actually be scheduled for this summer. Jeff hasn't mentioned when they plan to launch Blue Moon for the first time, but of course, it is no coincidence that lander is just under the maximum size the company expects to fit in the nose cone of its new Glenn rocket. Blue Origin's mission is to help establish sustained human presence on the Moon. Bezos sees his company paving the road to space, where one day trillions of people could take advantage of the infinite resources it has to offer. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and let us know if you like this video in the comments below.